Bridge Road, Upper St. Clair's Vermont schools. Um, my concern now is not so much the speed, it's the traffic. It's a constant parade of construction vehicles ever since the Bedner Farms project was kicked off. We are addressing it. I know this is a major problem for you guys up there on Ridge Road, and it's a major inconvenience, but we're dedicating the time we can dedicate to it. We have midnight sitting there some mornings from 6 until 6.30. We then will have daylight sit there at various times during the day, afternoon at various times during the day. It's basically hit and miss. We have to be there when they come by. I know myself, I've written probably three tickets up there just making the patrols through that I have. The problem that we have is, before I was a police officer, I was in the construction business, okay? I was self-employed. I don't like writing working man tickets, okay? We've, I've actually hand-delivered a letter to the project manager, manager at Bednar Estates telling him, make copies of this, give it to your contractors and subcontractors, and have them pass it out to their subcontractors if necessary, and we're making them aware of our ordinance that we have so they do not utilize our roads. This was done back in April. Everybody that I've stopped to this date and other vehicles that have been stopped by the officers, word is not getting put out by the project manager. He's failing to do his job, although it seems as though he doesn't care. What irritates me is, is when I've given a means to the project manager, I've also called Mr. Brillhart from Upper St. Clair Township who won't return my calls in an effort to try to prevent this from happening and they're not passing the information on. I mean, I hand delivered the guy left and said, make well, The reason is they probably don't want <laughs> these vehicles using McMillan. Can we address this to lower the cheap curfew? But no, it's unlawful to enact a curfew unless we can have a well documented problem with juveniles, which we don't really have right now. Do any of the other towns in the area have curfews? I don't believe you can. You, you, you would have to research that. I know we looked into it many years ago when the cloud was cheap. Yeah, I, there was one I was a kid. I can tell you for the last 16, 17 years or yeah. Yeah, the whistle would go on. You knew there was a curfew because your parents told you there was a curfew. Well, was my whistling up and you were going to get the home. Yes. And your parents told you you had to be home when the sun went down at 945. Something triggered it. I know the Route 50 is a state road. Parsley Road is a state road. Is there any chance that you may consider a right hand turn on red? Absolutely. That's the idea. Yeah. So now that we and Lori have talked about what we have to talk 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 about what we have to Everybody in favor of this one here, the red razor hand. 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 The red The red The red hand. The Jason? No. No? Yes? Yes. 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 Just as a I think we've got a lot of places in Bridgeville that cry out more for our tax dollars than Bower Hill Road. I don't think that all of a sudden Bower Hill Road coming to the top of the list. We've got a whole lot of roads that we need to fix, and it may not get killed over there. That thing is going to be done. It's 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 going to be done. Just All of these issues are liabilities, Mia. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely right. Oh, there's a favor. I'm not. Oh, there's a 
unfortunately, I have to say, I, but it's it has to be fixed. So we treated Albacete about 300 million gallons of water a day. 200 of those 300 shouldn't be there. Between our private laterals and the public lines, the public lines that we're all talking about here that we need to fix that are leaking, we have infiltration in our public lines. That's why we're being ordered to fix those. There are some estimates that between 40 and 60 percent we could line all of our public lines in gold, okay, and seal them all, but we've only fixed maybe 40 to 60 percent of the problem because of the private level. Let me sort of respond to that in layman's terms. I'm sure Bill can do a better job in technical terms. This isn't about your shower or your toilet. Okay, if you don't take a shower, if you don't ever flush the toilet, water leaks into your broken pipe that goes from your house to the main store line. So if you don't take a shower, there's still water yeah. percolating in to your broken line. That water contributes to a lot of the of the of the uh, the volume that we're treating at the sewage plant. But I think one of the people okay. that you have So what we want you to do is camera your line and okay. prove that it doesn't have any leaks and bring that videotape to the borough. Okay? And if it does have leaks, yes, we want you, when it's convenient, to dig up your line and fix it. Yeah, I, think I, I, hope we can, I hope we all you know, can fix it. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's a large cost to each of us at once. But it's a savings as long as that level is good to Alcistan for a very long time. And so if they can have, kick some back, if we can get a subsidy yeah, yeah, out of that, it's also a legal issue yeah. because of the legal history of how we built them. For lack of a sure. Term. And we built Rome on a legal scenario where we cut off ownership of the current, generally speaking, and it's private ownership from there. Yeah. We actually don't have the power to spend public money on laterals, as we said today. Yeah. When she's asking her question, if she fixes her lateral, can she have a credit on her sewage rate or a lower charge? Maybe not pay the. Not pay the uh, the the, the, switch, the monthly thing. Maybe just take it out. Something uh, less. That's actually something that we were talking about. We need to talk about the power of the industry. The scenarios where we can break through the arcade system and stop the system. Those are the kind of ideas I'm trying and hoping that we can address and figure out a solution to. So, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to ask you 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 to so that's what I'm hoping we can look at. And as the manager said, she's willing to look at it. I'm hoping we can. This is very good education for you people. But we're not going to vote along. It's, you know, we're we're not going to vote It's going to be more like this. Uh, hopefully, there'll be some political. I think we so. want well, something that at least you explain it. But yeah, yeah, we need to come up with uh, just to explain it. Sure. Like Eric said, I flushed my toilet here and that's my knowledge of my plumbing in my house. Come up and explain, hey, you got to get your lateral check. Why, what are the lateral? What does it do? Why should I get a check? So we come up with something so people aren't going, well, I don't want to do this. Even if we just come up with an educational answer. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.